my Doppler 10 forecast when we'll finally catch a break. That's straight in. All right, Chris, thank you. Well, of course, that scorching heat makes things tough on everybody. Temperatures in the mid-90s are also wreaking havoc on the machines made to keep us cool. Well, local repair crews are having a hard time keeping up with the demand for air conditioning repairs. 10 TV News reporter Patrick Bell shows you why and how to keep your unit running smoothly. Searing sunshine. Oh, it's been terrible. And soaring temperatures making life miserable for Margaret Richards. Wow. This is unbearable. Because her AC isn't working. It's like an oven. It's tough on her and little Lily. <laughs> but Everett Cavendish is here to solve the problem. We are so busy. I looked at the dispatch board this morning. There are several calls on each technician, and people are still lighting up the four phone lines that we have. His company, Sears Heating and Cooling, slammed with calls for help. I expect it, it will be a 12 hour day for me. As you can see, is back here working on the AC unit. He's one of the most popular guys in town, but if something happens with your air conditioning, it may take a few days for him to get out of here. Not something you want in 95 degree weather. You can avoid AC issues, first of all, by changing your filter. Some people think their air conditioner might have a filter and then they can't find it. The current filter needs to be changed year round if they have central air conditioning. Get rid of grass or weeds around the machine and have a pro maintain it. A lot of times people think, well, Thank you.